Hey everybody! So today I wanted to make a quick video before I go into class. Um, kind of talking about something very disappointing that is happening to me in the hobby. Um, I know I'm no expert on dolls, but I think that by now in, in my experience in the hobby, I am pretty well knowledge at this point. But something happened to me and I haven't lost any money yet. I haven't sent the payment yet, but it's just something that I did that was very stupid that if I would have done a little more research, it wouldn't have happened. So last night I was basically just browsing the Mandrake um, web store. Mandrake is a... Um, a chain of Japanese stores and they sell like used manga and used figures and they even sell dolls. They have a pretty good reputation for selling a lot of um, well-priced bulk dolls. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about Mandrake and people who have experience buying dolls from them. So I was just browsing the doll section last night and I came across a Mini Fee Rena. <clears throat> now the listing said Rhea, not Rena. So I just figured, well, Mandrake specializes in bulks and Japanese dolls. So maybe they're just not very familiar with Korean companies. So maybe they just got the sculpt names mixed up when they made the listing or they just, you know, weren't very um, savvy about Fairyland. So, I saw her and she had what looked like the default Rena face-up from what I've seen in pictures before. And I've always loved Rena. I always thought she was adorable. She has the cutest lips and the cutest smile. And here's the catch. Um, she was 25,000 yen, which converts to roughly 214 US dollars. I freaked out. And I did email them and I asked for more pictures of her and pictures of the inside of her head because I was a little skeptical at that point. Um, you know, $214 for an active line um, mini fee with the default face up is like ridiculous. So, of course, I placed the order. Um, with Mandrake, you place an order and then they calculate shipping and they send you an invoice and then you pay everything at once. So you don't get money taken out right away, you get an invoice and then you pay it. So I went ahead and made the order so that um, I didn't know how long she had been listed so I didn't want her to get bought by somebody else while I you know, waited for pictures and stuff. So I went ahead and ordered her so that she would be reserved. And I kind of was excited and I kind of posted pictures of her on my Tumblr, pictures from the online store. And somebody reblogged the pictures and said, that's an active line body with hook hands. Now that's a hybrid, I know that's possible, but the person on Tumblr said, those are number eight hands. Those were never made in hook hands. I think they only go up to six, or the only hook hands that Fairyland offers. So I went and looked, and that's right, they do not make number eight hands in hook only magnet, which means more than likely, unless, I don't know, something magical happened, that doll is a recast. And I'm not okay with owning a recast doll. <clears throat> I'm not okay with owning a recast doll, and that's still kind of a hefty price for a recast doll, $215. I would never waste that kind of money on a fake doll. No offense to anybody. I don't really care if you take offense to that, but so I'm just a little put off right now. I haven't spent the money on her, and I'm still waiting on pictures because the head, the face up looks just like the default. Like, I don't know if these recast companies are good enough to make that happen and it looked a lot like the whole doll looked a lot better quality than most recast I've seen so 
maybe the head is legit um and maybe the body is not if the head is then i would gladly just buy the head and find a body secondhand or something but i'm not okay with owning a recast doll and i'm not okay with wasting my money on that so i don't know if mandrake would know if a doll is recast i don't know if i if i asked them about that if they would know because fairyland didn't offer um, certificates of authenticity until recently so there's I don't really know how to prove that if it's a real doll I can ask them if they have the original box and paperwork but you could still get that and it could still be a recast so I'm really afraid right now because the hand thing just completely throws it off I mean, the price is, like, really wary, but I thought, oh, it's Mandrake, it's a used doll, I don't know how old it is, maybe they just, you know, they didn't know what the value of it was, and they just put it up there so it would get sold, because I've heard of people getting really good deals, so I thought I just got a really good deal, but it's just the hand thing, I can't get over that, and I've looked everywhere, and you can't find number eight hook hands, it's just not a thing. And it's not a different body. It looks like a Fairyland body. It doesn't look like any other body. So I know it's an A-line body. Just the hands. So I don't know what to do. I'll probably cancel the order. And just be upset about it. Because I was very excited. I was like, oh, I already have plans. In a day I did that. And, and overnight. I, I, I didn't sleep much last night because I was thinking about it so much. So yeah pretty disappointed. I mean, I still have my two dolls incoming, my um, baby kitties from Doll Family, and I'm excited about them, but I really wanted another mini fee, but I really can't afford to spend the $500 that they retail new, so I was like super excited that I was going to get one for a really good price, and now I'm like really bummed out. So, if anyone has any advice to offer me, um, if you have some kind of like insight, then I would be more than glad to hear it, but for now I'm going to wait and see what Mandrake says back, and maybe I'll update later, but I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.